everybody. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the pre-split text stack within Drift Pro. Now, this stack didn't originally exist, but a user wanted this particular type of animation. As we scroll up the page, individual lines from within a paragraph animated onto the page. It's a really amazing effect, and I wanted to make sure that we could do that. So we did that with the pre-split text. Now, what does this do and why do we need it? So let's think about this animation actually. If we watch this animation, we need each individual line to have its own trigger. It needs to trigger itself when each line is inside the viewport. Now, however, all drift animations are kind of triggered off a container or a paragraph. And this in, into itself is one big paragraph. So we don't wanna start the animation when the paragraph enters the page because it would animate the entire paragraph at once. And we wanted to animate each individual line of a paragraph. So in order to do this, we need each individual line to be its own trigger. Therefore, before the timeline ever gets created, we need to split this paragraph, okay? So what pre-split pre does is it actually, even though it's inside the timeline, it will run before the timeline gets created. And essentially what it does is we give it, we tell it to, to find big text. So here my header is, has a class of big text, okay? And we told it to split it up by lines. And I assign each line the line class of big text line. We don't see that in edit mode because Drift is adding that to each individual line. So on page load, each line will have this class. So let's look at the Drift timeline now. We're doing this, it's a scroll-based animation. We're gonna scope this because we want each individual line to animate individually. So we're gonna scope this to be each line. So we're scoping it there. And then we also want that same line to be the, actually the trigger for the scroll event. Then inside of our animate stack, the big text line class is also what we're gonna be animating. And in this case, I'm animating it with, let's see, um, we're scaling it up from 0.5 and we're going from opacity zero. So it's gonna go from opacity zero, 50%, and it's gonna scale up. And we're also doing a little bit of movement on the Y axis, okay? Um, so there we go, that's all it is, right? It's just moving each line and the, the trick here is we needed to create that class on every single line so that we can target it with our timeline, both on adding the scroll triggers as well as animating each individual line um, and setting up the animation. So hopefully that helps you figure out what split text does. Again, it allows us to actually split the text and then use those classes that we uh, are assigned to each individual character, word, or line within our animation setup. 